What is good everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. And today I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip once again. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your microphones for recording inside FS Studio. I'm gonna be doing a lot of vocal tutorials, so it's best I show you guys how to record, so that way you don't have to, you know, have to keep going over and over and over this. I can show you one time, you get it, we move on, we can make these dope videos. So let's jump right into FS Studio. So here we are inside of FS Studio once again. Now I'm gonna show you my way of recording. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. It's the way I like doing it. Uh, you can only do this in version, I think, 12.6 or higher. If not, there's still some ways you can get around that. So don't worry, you know, just leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer if you don't have, you know, 20 or higher, 12.6 or higher, whatever. So what I like to do is I like to record inside the playlist and use the feature that they have called where you can assign the actual channels to the actual playlist. So first you wanna make sure that your ASIO driver is set up. So whatever ASIO driver you use for your interface, make sure that's set up. So I got mine set to my quantum audio interface. So that's good to go. If you wanna hear yourself play back with no delay you want to set your buffer size when i get more detail about that i think i got a video i'll put up here somewhere whatever it talks about buffer size and latency and if i need to make another video i will update it but basically the lower you have it the less delay you'll hear yourself record so i would suggest record like 256 or lower 128 if you can and anything lower than that is just gonna be better but it's gonna depend on your hardware both your computer and your interface and depending on the type of connection you use it's gonna depend on how much latency you have but once you got that all set up let's get it course so first i like to right click on one of my tracks and i go to track mode as you can see go to audio track and i hit insert one and like i said this is only in version 20 or higher i think i think one of the 12 point something version add this but you know if i like so once i do that it actually break it to a mixer channel and have it already assigned and like i said so that's good to go next i want to select my microphone so i'm going to select my microphone one because that's the microphone i like to use this is this microphone i do have that microphone whatever input your microphone is in just said to that so input one so now i'm able to hear myself back you guys should be hearing me through the daw and you see my levels are going in check check one two three check check one two three now at this point i can add some effects and all that but we'll do that in later videos but you know just is the basis right now now because it's set to its own channel anytime i record it's going to be associated with this channel and anytime i do an extra recording on this channel it's going to make like kind of like a folder track and just keep recording inside here so i kind of comp them together in the future which we'll get into more details later now you want to make sure you hit song mode that way you know it's recording inside the playlist if you want to have a countdown hit this three two one button it's going to count down and then all you need to do is hit record and in place so i'm gonna do it right now and show you how easy it is so here we go Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Slant, AKA Mr. Different, back with another video, showing you guys how to record inside of FS Studio, quick and easy, Lego. And now if I unrecord that, if I hit play, Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Slant, AKA Mr. Different, back with another video, showing you guys how to record inside of FS Studio, quick and easy, Lego. And like I said, easy like that. But now let's say, if I wanna do another recording, all I gotta do is aim it once, arm it once again, hit record, and watch it gonna make a folder track, and that's record under this record inside of FS Studio quick and easy. Lego. So now I can just go ahead and record a second part if I need to punch in and punch out. And there you go. And see, it's gonna record this part right here. That's because it is being routed into the, the main channel. So do keep that in mind, but all you do is like, just bring it up in here, you know, drag it in. And then you wanna zoom in, of course, you know, do a little zoom in, but you get it on the line, blah, 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 bring it up. And there you go. You know, simple as that. But I'm gonna get into more details about editing all that in the future. And if you don't wanna hear yourself when you're recording, all you gotta do is come right here and just unlink it from the master channel. And you won't hear yourself no more. So that's how you do if you don't wanna hear yourself play back. Cause maybe you got too much delay, you can just turn it out there and that should end it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy like always. Like I said, this is a little quick video. I am gonna be doing more videos about how to record and stuff like that, doing editing chops and stuff like that, cutting it up, comping, all that good stuff. Just wanna kind of give you a basis, show you how to set your microphone, how to get ready and how to record. So that way, you know, it just helps you out. But I'll do more in-depth videos in the future. Just not this video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy like always. Y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud, and Mr. Different TV. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. And you already know, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. Yeet.